Hey guys, <laughs> we're gonna um, do a teach you how to paint video for kids. I had a couple friends ask me to do it, so hopefully this works. This is our second go at it. This is the first one did not work. So I'm gonna go over, <laughs> these are my painters. Um, <laughs> uh, so we're gonna go over the colors that you're gonna need and then um, the supplies and then we're gonna get started. Okay, so first we've got green. This is the brand, it's pretty cheap. You can get it at Walmart. Um, in containers like this so you get quite a few of them or you can buy the larger ones like this um, so I did like a like a lighter green and then I have white orange a darker green red yellow and blue and then I didn't have this brand for cream but I had some other acrylic paint that I had on hand that's um, a cream base color so what I did is I got a paper plate and I just put all my colors on there. The most we're gonna use is probably our blue because that's gonna be our background. Um, and then my brushes that I have are these sponge brushes. You can get them on Amazon or Ross has them for a package for really cheap. Uh, just a flat edged brush or whatever you have lying around. It doesn't matter, we'll make it work. And then also Q-tips um, we're gonna use for this project. And then a paper, paper towel and a cup of water. <laughs> And then our canvases. I'm gonna use a larger canvas just because it picks up on the camera easier, but the kids are gonna use a smaller canvas, which again, you can get these at Ross. Ross has great deals for canvases. I think you get a pack of seven or five or something like that, anyways, for like $6.99. So Ross is the deal if you want some cheap canvases. All right, so the first color we're gonna use is blue, and we're gonna use our sponge brushes. Okay, we're just gonna get a little bit on our brush and we're gonna do the background. Anytime that you paint, you wanna do the background moving forward. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna move the camera a little bit so you can see my canvas now. Okay, and I have my canvas going horizontal. So that's what we're gonna start with. All right, I'm gonna pick um, kind of where I want the ground to go. So I'm just gonna do a line all the way across. That's kind of where my ground's gonna go. So like that. And then we're gonna go up, up and down, all the way across. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're gonna have trees that are gonna cover this. Um, so again, it doesn't have to be a perfect line. See, obviously I went down right there, it's fine. Up and down. If you want a lighter blue, I mean, you can use any color that you want. If you want a lighter blue, darker blue, this is your painting, that's the joy of it. Just filling our sky here. You can paint the edges too. I don't usually paint the edges. But I know some people that drives them a little bit bonkers, so they like to paint the edges. You don't want to get it too thick on there, otherwise it won't dry right away. Acrylic should dry pretty fast if you have a thin amount on there. So don't feel like you have to load up your canvas with paint because you want it to dry fairly quickly so that we can move on to the next step. Um, I'm gonna go ahead just for the heck of it, I'm gonna add a little bit of white to mine. Uh, not too much because I just want a little bit lighter blue. I think that's a little bit darker blue for what I am hoping for for this painting. And again, I don't want the white to just be crazy looking, so I'm gonna try my hardest to blend it right back into that blue just to lighten it up a little bit. And again, this is our background sky, so it won't, get, it won't be as noticeable because we're gonna have trees and eventually a fox in here. All right. 
Perfect. So when you're done, it should look something like this. And again, nice even layer of paint and I don't have any dripping uh, from, from just thickness of paint. And then we are gonna just set this, you can put this in your water. If you reuse this brush though, or any brush that you're gonna rinse off with water, make sure that with your paper towel that you completely dry it. Um, otherwise, when you go to paint it in the new color and put it on, it'll drip and then wipe off whatever paint you have on there. And then we just have a mess. So um, just make sure that if you're gonna rinse out your brushes, that you completely dry them off with a paper towel or a towel that you have um, that you can get paint on. For right now, I'm not going to reuse this one, so I'm just going to set it right back down. And I can, the good things about these brushes is I'll rinse them out at the end and um, I can reuse them. So don't think that you need to throw them away. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is our ground color, which is going to be green. Um, and so we're going to use our lighter green first. This kind of brush that I have for my lighter green, but again, you can use any a thicker brush or a longer brush if you want to just um, we're gonna just color in this space I'm gonna end up putting darker green on top of it as well so we're just gonna go back and forth we kind of want to create like a hill um, so if it's a little bit rounded up here again don't worry if it gets into that blue right there it's gonna look fine again you don't need a thick amount so go ahead and just spread it out evenly Paint goes a long way, so if you're squirting it out onto your paper plates, just keep that in mind. That goes a long ways. I always tell people when I'm teaching them. A little dot will go a long ways, and you can always add more to your plate. That way um, prevents it from wasting the paint. Switch my hands. Blue's kind of blending in there, it looks cool. Okay, so there's that green, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put um, just a little bit of my darker green over top. In just areas, I don't need to do it all over. And then back and forth with your brush. set this down for a second. Now I am going to rinse out my green. I'll grab my paper towel here. There's still a little bit of green on there, but that's okay. Make sure that my brush is really dry. We're gonna do some white trees next. Okay. I also like to keep a lot of my extra paint brushes in the middle so that way I have a variety too. Sometimes for these trees, the paint brushes that are curved or slanted work really well too. But it's whatever it is makes you more comfortable. our trees I'm going to use the white and now we're going to look at our canvas and figure out where do we want our trees to go we kind of want a forest scene here um, so I'm going to put we're just going to start with one tree first so I'm going to start at the base and kind of do I'll show you guys up close I'm just going to do like a swoop as the base of my tree and again we'll fill this in with white so it's okay if it looks a little bit green going to happen because we're working with wet paint. Um, we're going to go all the way to the top. Okay. All the way to the top and then just fill it in. Need more white. Go ahead and put more white on there. Okay. 
The idea here is to have the base of it a little bit thicker. And I'll do it with different brushes too, just so you guys can see the difference of different types of brushes. So this one, I use the slanted brush to create this streak, which is not letting me fill in as much white as I was hoping for. So we'll see if this one does. And then on these, when you use this flathead brush, you can turn the brush to make a thinner trunk at the top. So I just rotate it on its side and then go all the way up. Okay, I'm gonna create a lip. Now they're not all gonna be the same size, of course. Um, so I'm gonna create another one that's kinda gonna be right here. And go all the way up to the top. Again, don't worry about if they're not perfect. We just want the illusion of trees. I'm gonna set this back down. So let's do about five on this side of the canvas. And then as, it can, as our paint dries, we can go back over that with white if the blue is coming through or the green has seeped up into the white too. Um, this one I'm gonna move a little bit up higher onto the green just so this middle one looks like it's behind it. to the top of the canvas. And I'm going to create, once I get to that middle one, this one right here, I'm going to create just a little bit of a space and I'm going to start on this side and I'm going to do another little one right here. So there's just a little bit of a space in between those two kind of look like an opening in the forest. Let's see. With that wider base to the trees, to the trunks. Do some right here. Doesn't have to be straight lines. The trees are all different. We're actually gonna, I'm gonna slant this one a little bit, this tree. I have it meet that one at the base and then I'm gonna slant it. But your guys' trees can be however you want them to be. If you want a bunch of them straight up, perfect. These ones are kind of put more put together and making them. Again, don't worry if they're not completely white all the way in. I don't know if you can see, but mine has like streaks of blue still in them, so that's fine. We'll add some detail. Okay, let's add a couple more trees and then we'll, we'll call our trees good. Or whatever you have space. If you can't do as many as I can, remember I've got a larger canvas, so just do however many trees you that will fit on your canvas. painting is starting to stress you out, just stop and take a break. Painting should be relaxing and fun, so don't let it stress you out. Okay, so there's my trees. Now we're gonna go and we need to create some branches on the trees. So again, we're gonna start back over on the original side that I started with with these trees. And I'm just gonna do lines off the side line here it doesn't really matter where they are we don't want too many of them 
up here. This idea I got off of um, Pinterest. Pinterest has a ton of teach you how to paint ideas that um, is fun with your family or just for yourself. There's lots of resources out there. Okay, now I'm gonna come over to this set of trees and add some branches. Maybe like one right there. When you're done with those, we can go ahead and rinse out our brushes. Make sure again, <coughs> if um, you rinse them out, that you just dry them really well. Or because we don't want any paint or water to, to drip onto what we've already created on our canvas. Okay, next what we're gonna do is we're gonna add detail to our tree, our trees here, which um, with our black, but I don't have any black out. <laughs> I forgot to mention that. Let's see if I have some black. Okay, okay let me grab some black. I knew there was a color I was missing, it's black. Okay, we don't need a ton. Okay, so with this one you can use um, a thinner brush. Uh, I'm also gonna show you a really neat trick to use as well. girls here's some thinner brushes um so here's a thinner brush that we can use or what i want to show you too is how you can use a card um any old credit card this happens to be a big five old gift card that i have i have so many of these that i keep around so when i do paint parties or host them um that i have these extra four people so what we're going to do i'll show you with both so in case you don't have an extra old credit card or gift card or something that you can use. I'll show you how to use the paintbrush too. Um, and it doesn't have to be, this just happens to be an edged one, but it doesn't have to be an edge one. Um, any little one will do. So what we wanna, we're kind of wanting to give the effect of just like lines on the trees. So um, like a line, line there, maybe coming from this side. So I'll show you up close. So we'll do this tree with with the paintbrush and then I'll show you with the cards how you can do it, okay? And then go just um, let's do another one, maybe like right there, right here. You don't need to be a, like, you can have a really light hand too to create this Look all the way up. Okay, so that is what I used with the paintbrush. Now let me show you what it looks like um, using a card. Actually, not here first. So I'm gonna take the edge. Let's see, I wanna do I'll do the, I'm gonna do the longer edge first and show you. 
So I'm gonna go to my paint and I'm gonna see where she is. Go all the way through like that. So you just have a little bit on the rim of it. And you don't want a globs of it. So if there's too much, like I just did right there, I just put some off. We're gonna come to our tree. And I'm gonna roll up my sleeves for this one. It's just getting annoying. I'm getting paint everywhere. <laughs> I'm gonna come to it and I'm going to, let's see if you can see this. I'm gonna put it on the edge of it and then I'm gonna just create it over. So see the difference in how it's gonna create the look. Then you go to this side, go to the edge, and then just carry it over. I have a little bit more, so I'm gonna. This is a lot harder to do standing up. <laughs> there we go. So it kind of gives it that effect. So there's the two different types. So whichever type you like that look um, that you're going for, feel free to to do that. We could have done it with a little bit less black on the card. This one you can just experiment with. Ooh, I like that look. Let's go to this side. Okay, so there's the different styles. So I'm gonna go back to my brush and so I'll have a little bit of mix of both. Obviously, if this was a painting I was trying to sell, I would take a little bit more of my time on the detailing. But since this is just meant to show you guys what a fun project you can do with your kids or neighbor kids or with a family, then I'm just doing it. This is actually my very first time painting this picture that we're doing. Um, usually I like to to paint it first and then have an idea of how I'm gonna teach it, but this was a very sporadic idea that I decided to do, so we'll see. We're all learning together right now. I even have my husband painting with us right now. <laughs> He's being very quiet in the background. <laughs> All right, couple more. You don't want globs because we're gonna paint, we're gonna do a fox right on here. So if we have globs of black, then that's not gonna look very good. All right, have more trees here. I think for this painting, I like this style more than I liked my card style. Um, just because this one looks better if the trees are a little bit thicker, and that's like the main vocal point of your painting, but it's still a fun little trick regardless. OK, 
Okay, so after we are done with that, now we are going to, we're gonna add some um, fun colored leaves to our painting. So we're gonna use our Q-tips. And the colors that I have picked out, but again, feel free to use whatever colors you want. Um, I'm gonna probably use some green, orange, yellow, and reds for this one. And it's mainly, give a little bit on your Q-tip here. And then we're just gonna do dots. So we wanna kind of have it um, in a circular flow of the picture. We're, don't go too low, cause we're gonna have a fox be like right here in our photo. So we just wanna, but we wanna cover majority of the upper half of these. So if we're holding this close, and we're just gonna put, I'm gonna do all my orange first and then I'll go back and do a different color. Um, just kind of have fun with it and you can do this with a brush if you don't have Q-tips, obviously. This is just a fun way with kids and using something creative other than a brush. to look pretty full so don't you know you be generous with your with your paint with your dots there we'll add other colors on top of it so there's no real pattern that we're sticking with here For the next color, I'm just going to flip it onto this side. So there's my... Let's do some yellow. You want them close? Whoops, I was doing orange, I know. You want them close together, so don't spread out your dots, okay? It's okay if they layer each other. So if you're thinking of a full tree in fall, you know, leaves are layering each other. More yellow on this side. Up in here. 
Okay, so there's with the yellow. Now I'm gonna do my red. Again, you just add it right on top of those other colors. It looks really pretty. some green too just to add a little bit lighter of a color in there to mix it in okay there's the red a couple more red up here okay, I want this to come down a little bit more Okay, now I'm going to add, add that lighter green. Let me see what that looks like here. Okay, I like it. Fill in some of those, those empty spaces here. Here we go. I like that one. Nice colors there. Make sure not to blend it too much, otherwise it'll just turn to brown and then we're losing all of our fun colors in there. So just kind of press down and go. Don't blend it, don't smear it. It'll do its thing. All right, a couple more. Take a look, let's see. Looks good. Okay. So we got the effect of a of the trees here. That looks good. Let's put some red down in here. I like it. Okay, so I'm gonna set it down. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to work with um, creating our fox right here. And so with that, we're gonna use um, our orange and our cream color to create our fox. So right now we need to decide where we want our fox on our canvas. Um, I'm gonna do mine like right here. That's where I'm gonna do mine. So with that in mind, let's see. Um, we're gonna use a cup, we can use a different cup, couple different styles of brushes here. Right now I'm gonna use my angled brush um, or you can use a smaller angled brush or uh, just a small flathead brush too will work. So we're going to start with um, our orange color. And you can mix your orange and your red together, which I think I might do just to kind of give it that real rich color. So there I am mixing it just right there on your plate. Okay, I'm gonna figure out where I want the tops of my ears to be. Um, and then also like the eyes. So if I'm looking at it, my kind of, let's see, I'm gonna start here. And you might just zoom in. I'll show you too when I'm done. Um, Cause again, this is <laughs> my first time painting this too. So I gotta envisual it here. Um, so I'm already gonna start right here and kind of go up and I'll show you this step here. So if you're freaking out right now, just I'll do it and then I'll bring it closer to the camera. And we kind of want it because this is a fun painting. We're going to have a bigger fox, so and he's kind of cartoonish. Um, so we're not trying to go for a real realistic look here. Um, so we're going to do this, and I'm going to do that. And then again, don't, I'll show you in a second here. Okay, so let me bring this up closer. 
And because I had black in the background, it's kind of making it a little bit darker, but that's totally fine. Okay, so there is my initial design. So I went, I started here and I kind of did a V right here. And then off of that V, I went down. And off of this V, I went down. And then I just, or you could just do one round line like that that goes over this V shape. And then off of this, I just kind of curved it up. And then curved it up. This is going to be where his ears are. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just color in this where this V was. Okay. Again, because of that darker color, it's making it darker where it's not as orange as I'd like, but that's all right. So there's our first step. Okay, I'm gonna get some more paint on my brush. A little bit of red. Okay, and I'm just gonna go over these lines again. When that dries, you can always go back over it with orange too. But right now we're working with wet paint on top of wet paint, so it's just gonna kinda mix together, which is fine, because we just want the initial shape right now. Um, I'm gonna have his ear, these kinda droop down a little bit more. Okay. Um, and then now what we wanna do is we wanna do the tail. And that we're gonna have kind of right, it's gonna kind of be like an oval shape and we're gonna have it kind of be like. Right here. So I'm gonna get some more and I'll bring it closer. Think oval shape, Easter egg. We're just gonna color it in right there. Okay, again, don't get frustrated if it's not the color that we put on our brush because we're working with wet paint. Okay, next we're gonna work with our cream. So we're gonna go ahead and rinse out our brushes. And remember when we rinse them out that we are going to dry them off so that we don't wanna drip any extra water or paint color onto our canvas. It's not really good because now we're going to work with our cream color. And you can use that same brush or you can choose to do a different brush. Totally up to you. Okay, so we're going to get our cream color right here. I'm going to load my brush up. Now we're going to do the ears. So from this point of the ear right here, I'm just gonna create a line that goes down. It doesn't meet the end of this orange part, it's, but it's just gonna come straight down um, from this part. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and color this, that in right there. Okay, so see, I still have a little bit of that orange um, over that's gonna create the cheeks of the fox here soon. Um, but just for the ears, we just wanna create a line that comes down and meets that orange, not the end of it though. Leave that part, right? And then color it in like that. Okay, so there's his ears. Um, next, we're gonna do the cheeks. And the cheeks are gonna come down, let's see. It's gonna come um, like this. It's gonna come and meet. So there's our line for, and then we're gonna color that all in, if that makes sense. So then just go ahead and color it in. And then now for the body, we're gonna come and it's gonna have a different kind of shape here. So first we're gonna come from here, we're gonna go around like this, okay? Have it come to meet the meet the tail right there. I'll pull it up, okay? And then it's gonna come, so kind of out and then in and then like this. So see that shape? So it goes, 
swish, swish, and then go ahead and color, color that in. Again, it's okay with that background color. If it just, if you're not getting that true cream color, that's, it's gonna be fine. Mine's kind of turning grayish, which is fine. And then this is gonna actually come down even further now. So I'm gonna create a line right there. See that, girls? True gray fox now. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse out my brush just because it's collected all this extra paint on it. No matter what I do, it's gonna be gray. So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse that out real fast and just do a fresh start. Dry it off really good. Okay, and then once it's dry, we'll just start again. Okay, so I'm gonna get some more cream on there. And I'll, go, I'll let this dry a little bit more and then I can add cream to that just if I want that, that extra cream color on there. So now let's go ahead and do the tip of the tail. Oops, I got a little bit too much paint. Um, so we're gonna work right here. It's gonna go underneath his cheek right there and kind of come off to a point, okay? And then it's gonna, we're gonna just brush it up. So we want it to blend in with that oval shape that we have, okay? And you can make it kind of rounded at the end if you want. And don't, let's not lose his cheek right here though. So you want that to sit right on top of the of the tip of the tail there. Okay, I'm gonna go back and add a little bit more cream down here now. Okay. And I think that is it for our cream. So now we're gonna go back and I'm gonna rinse this again because we need to go back into our orange color. So go ahead and rinse that out. Dry it off. Use the same brush or a different brush. We're gonna add that orange color that we had for the body earlier and we need to do some legs right here. So we're gonna go ahead and just attach the body This is like his fur coming down into his stomach area, and then these are gonna create his legs. So we have a leg going this way, and then we're gonna have a leg off to the side here. Okay, and this will make more sense too when we add in our black. And then I'm gonna just use this time too to kind of go over into my tail and add a little bit more of that red since that gray kind of took over. And I like to go back and forth because foxes have fur and so it kind of gives it that illusion. So it's not like a smooth. We're gonna have a, a foot right here coming like this, and then we're gonna have a foot off to the side right here. Just put some more red in here. How you guys doing? Good, cute. Oh, cute. So I had to show you guys this. Okay, so there is our little fox guy. So now we can go ahead and rinse these brushes and we're gonna deal with black next. We are almost done. You guys are doing awesome. Thanks for hanging out with me, getting through this. Um, once you've painted something once, I don't know if you're like me, but then you might want to go back and paint it again, and then you know in your mind different tricks or different shapes or um, 
I don't know, ideas that you have that you will paint differently with. Or you can go back and make it look more realistic once you've painted it once. So it's all sorts of fun things. It's just getting that initial painting on the canvas. Um, and then it opens up a world of imagination and just ideas for you to paint with. Okay, so now we're gonna use our black. And we're gonna go over and we're gonna paint the face and then put a little bit more black on his ears. And then we'll end the canvas by putting some of these leaves down below here. So it looks like they've fallen onto the ground. So don't throw away or hopefully you haven't or get some more of those um, Q-tips because we'll use those at the very end. So right now we're gonna use black. And I'm gonna use my smaller paintbrush. Again, I just have this one out, but you don't have to use um, a slanted edge. I'm gonna use a slanted edge right now because that's what I have available. So we use our smaller ones, and we're gonna do our eyes first. So go ahead and put them. If you have a slanted edge, just put black at the tip on that slanted part. Um, then that'll, that works really well. So right now we're gonna do a little round button nose. Right here. Just like that. And then on either side of it, we're gonna do little dotted eyes. So right there. If yours is a girl, you can add a little bow. I mean, this is a part where fun kids can be creative, mm -hmm. add a personality to their fox. Okay, so there's his eyes. Now down from the nose, we're gonna go just do a little bit of a line down in the middle of his nose, just like, an, um, like a line. Okay, and then we're gonna have a little bit of a mouth, just the little mouth, so we're gonna just curve it like that. <laughs> just a little mouth. I just have a bigger paintbrush, so I should have got out my thinner ones for this part, but. So mine looks grumpy, that's okay. Okay, next we're gonna add, um, we're gonna add to his ears. So I'm gonna come down like this, just to keep that shape there, and then I'm gonna just wipe it on like that. Okay, so there's the black on the ears. Okay, we're gonna go back and do that same thing to the other side here. Okay. <laughs> okay, now let's do his little black. He's got little boots on right here, so let's give him a little little paw boots. Yep. <laughs> and then I am going to just outline the little end of the tail right here. Just a real light hand, just to give it definition there. <laughs> if you wanna give it a bow, you can give it a bow. I'm gonna rinse this off real fast. I'm gonna add, I think I'm gonna add a little bit of blue to his eyes just around it. Uh, let me see if I have a littler brush here. Do you have a little brush I can use? I want like this type. I'll show you this little brush. Okay. Here's like a detailed brush right here. This is real thin. Okay. Just to make his eyes a little bit more happier on my fox. Let's see if I can add some blue, blue around the edge here. go back in and add some more black here. Yep. 
I'll give it to you in a second. I'm going to put some more black in here. I'm going to let it dry. Um, I'm probably going to come in here and I'm going to add a little bit of white and add some um, white to his tail here just to make it look like a little, a little bit more fluffy. And then also I want to add some white to his mane in here. Just lines going this way and that way just to create the fuzz on the hair lines. Might some of you might have to wait till your painting's a little bit drier to do this, but I'll show you up close here in a second. Yeah. Feel free to add whatever detail you want. We've got some serious puffy cheeks going on. <laughs> Anyways, I'll probably go back and play with that. Um, but for the sake of getting the painting done and not wasting your guys' time because I could paint all day, we're going to go back to our Q-tips and then I'm just going to add dots. Using those same colors from above, I'm going to start with my, green, my orange, whatever color this is. You're done with the painting always make sure that you sign it <laughs> grandparents love getting paintings from kids for Christmas birthday or just because gifts maybe send it to your teacher who you can't see right now everybody loves to get mail doesn't take much just to give a thoughtful gift even if you don't think it's your best they will think it's the best Everybody loves it. I know I love to get care packages in the mail or I'm thinking of you packages even more than I like getting things on my birthday. All right, a couple more dots here. We'll call this painting good. Let's see, I'm gonna add, oh, my green. I don't know if my green will show up as a green ground. <laughs> Maybe add some blue down there. It might be pretty. Let's see, we'll see. I did blue down here though. I'm gonna have to add some up top. <laughs> I can put some blue up here. I like that blue. That looks good. Okay. So, <laughs> voila! There is mine, guys. You guys did great. It's awesome. My girls want to show you theirs that they did. Okay. Here's the Reyes. Come in here. Yay. Look how cute that is. So cute. Okay, go so let that dry. So big and fluffy. We love it. And then here's Olives. Come in here. Yeah, buddy. So cute. I just want to name them all. Good job, girls. 
All right, so I hope that that was a fun project. This is a very new thing for me as far as never um, filming good. myself. That's weird. So anyways, yeah, I'm sure you guys are have done good too. So go ahead and put a picture up on Facebook. Let me see your guys' finished project if you end up doing this um, art piece. Okay, stay safe. Bye, you guys. Bye.